This is the, the UP2 tent by RBM Updoors and I set it up about a month ago. And this is the first time I've been back. And you can see that it's really handling a heavy snow load right now. Like this thing is really, really strong. It's a double wall tent and it's uh, shaped like an umbrella, but it's got a really nice slope, uh, like a bit of a steep slope on top. And it can handle a pretty heavy load. Like there's considerable snow on this thing and it's standing up like a beast to the snow and to the conditions. So I've really been looking forward to coming back here and I knew that I was gonna you know, come back to this thing in case in snow. I didn't know that it was going to be in this grade of condition. But yeah, I, I want to have this in this location for the entire winter. It gives me uh, just a, a, a place to come to that's different. Um, and um, I really enjoy it in these tents. Like, I really enjoy it in these tents. And uh, tonight, I'm sleeping in it. Found this amazing piece of wood and it's got essentially it's got the kindling built in you see all this right here all of this is falling out of the log that I'm cutting I mean look at that it's super dry and a perfect way to start the fire and there's just so many little pieces essentially this log was rotting from the inside and it uh, it dried out and now I'm left with an amazing fire starter here. It's pretty fun to cut. I gotta bring that in and get the old stove going. It's getting pretty late already. That is just a beautiful way to start a fire. I didn't have to do any splitting for that stuff, really. It just fell out of the log. I've done this before and I haven't taken my time and it's led to me not getting the fire started with this method so these are just like uh, store-bought fire starters and sometimes I like to keep my skills up and start them with a ferro rod so the finer this stuff is, the better chance it has it's going to catch. So I have to be patient here. Now another trick, sometimes you got to really get these, these things going a bit, right? There we go. Oh yeah. So I didn't make a mess. You see, like I could have really knocked these things all over the place, but I didn't. So pretty lucky. And now I'm going to take these two guys right here. 
I'm going to ensure that that flame stays. Good. Because they will burn a long time. This is a new stove by RBM Outdoors. This is their medium-sized stove and it's perfect for this, this tent. Um, and uh, I really love the new design. The legs flip out so you don't have to worry about like screwing them in. They just pop out and the door is uh, a square door now. It has a really nice draft on the front and the holes are shaped like trees. It's pretty cool. And I also feel like the pipe is really tight. I feel like the chimney is, it just sucks together, right? Just sticks together perfectly. And um, yeah, it's a so far so good. This, this stove, she lights up real fast and it has a nice hot burn. When I came in here and I was like getting all the snow off the tent, it feels like a blanket. Like it really does feel like a blanket because of the double layer. It's just, you know you're in comfort. You know you're you're well protected. You know it's gonna be a really warm night. So I know for sure I'm gonna be cooking in here, especially with that stove going. I have the windows open right now because I don't want it to get too hot. Uh, it's about minus 10 Celsius outside. So it's a perfect evening. And, and right now we're dealing with pretty much the warmest winter I've ever experienced in my life uh, up to this point. So fingers crossed that deep cold comes soon. Um, but even if it doesn't, I'm really going to enjoy my time camping in the winter. Like tonight is just about camping and being out here and taking in the moments, right? Like. I, I, I'm really looking forward to having some tea with some uh, salted crackers with cheese whiz on top. The layer of snow that's around the base of this tent, I'm going to leave it there for the night. There's only one area I'm going to open up, and that is um, in the back where there's like a draft system that allows for there to be a really nice airflow throughout the tent, and it's situated right next to the stove. So I'll clear that area out, but I'm going to leave the snow around the base of the tent, so that way it'll be super insulated and warm in here tonight. When I was a kid, I absolutely loved cheese whiz. I'd eat it in the morning with about four or five slices of toast before I went to school. And it's six o'clock in the evening now, but I'm not in the mood for supper. At all. I just kind of want to have a little snack, tea, with some cheese whiz and premium plus crackers. Now these are Canadian made. I don't know if you guys in the, the States or anywhere else in the world watching this video have uh, salted top, salted tops. That's what these are, salted tops. And they are um, like a soda cracker. And I don't know why they call them soda crackers. Maybe because there's baking soda in them. There we go. Now, ideally, we have 
um, these biscuits back home. They're called, well, they're crackers. Purity, the East Coast, Newfoundland and Labrador. Purity crackers. And I really love, I really love the, uh, the cream crackers. Purity cream crackers with cheese whiz. All time favorite snack with a cup of tea. But there weren't any purity crackers at my local grocery store. So I'm going with another classic. And that's these uh, premium plus salted. Oh baby. I like wipes. I use wipes a lot when I can't. Just to keep clean. Wipe things down. I got all that beef all over this knife. And even though it's stainless steel and I'm sure it'll be fine in the long run. Give it a wipe. And uh, they're unscented. Garbage bag. And so what I want to do is I'm going to mix an onion in with this. Now that's a big burger. I mean, that's a huge burger right there. But I'm hungry. Yeah, that's gonna be good. It'll be really good. The size of that thing, baby. It's a bit of steak spice, and it's a bit of um, what's called back Eddie's seasoning salt. It's a local seasoning salt, and I love it. We might as well get it on there. It's gonna take a while to cook. I'm gonna cook it nice and slowly. That's gonna be the biggest burger I've ever eaten in my life. Wow, look at that. Can't have enough of this stuff.
This burger is ridiculous, man. I hope it's cooked through. <laughs> Let's see. I got some jalapeno cheesies here mixed with some corn chips on the side. Amazing. Yeah. It's like 9.30. Having a coffee. And I'm having a burger. And I don't know what this is going to be like. I've had big burgers, but that's a whole heck of a lot of meat there. Whoa. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. That is cooked perfectly. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. The amount of slob and slush that's on the lake right now is really bad. I mean, it's a struggle to get through it on your snowmobile. It's almost like you're skipping water and you're just being sucked right down into it. Like it's just right there, you see? How there's a layer of the slush, and then you got your layer of snow, and then below that is ice. And it is really heavy. That's probably like 90% water there. So when I bring this to a boil, I don't have to worry about it because snow will just shrink, right? Snow just shrinks. And then you gotta put more in and you gotta put more in and more in. I feel like that is a pretty good load of water right there. A bunch of guys blasting around on snowmobiles. Sounds like they're not too far away. These tents have quite a bit of space if you do it right. And now that I have my cot in here and everything underneath my cot, I've got all the space in the world, man. It's really nice in here.
I'm gonna need splits because I have a feeling that fire is going out in the middle of the night and I gotta be ready to go. I think I'm set up well for the night. I've got lots of wood and uh, I have a nice warm sleeping bag and that fire might go out tonight. It really might. I don't know. Um, we'll see. Learning that wood stove. We'll see how it goes. There's always tricks with new wood stoves. Hopefully I can keep it going, but I feel like every three or four hours I'll have to uh, get that thing going again. And uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll probably just watch an episode of Yellowstone now and then I'll, I'll turn off the lights and I'll go to sleep. I'll see you guys in the morning. I had a beautiful night last night. <clears throat> Took me a while to fall asleep. Um, Cause that stove is so hot. It's so hot, man, holy smokes. And it's not that cold outside. So I had the windows open, I have them open now. And then uh, I loaded it at about three and then seven. And I, uh, I had the windows open, I shut it right down. It still gets pretty hot when it's shut down, but um, you know when it's not that cold out, you can really feel the heat coming off of this thing. So I had everything opened up, and then I was uh, I just let it die out this morning, pretty much just to a nice little small bed of coals. It was still giving off some heat, and um, I was really warm in my sleeping bag, and the tent had cooled off quite a bit, but. Uh, it was a, a really good sleep, especially this morning. For some reason, I always sleep better in the mornings at the tent or whenever I'm out camping. I don't know what it is. Like once I get to sleep and I put on that final load overnight in the stove, I'm out like I'm gone. I'm just a goner and I'll sleep from like six to 10. Like it's the best sleep of my life. But yeah, it's beautiful out there. Holy smokes, it's just gorgeous. And uh, there was this like fog that came in through the night and then it went away and yeah, it was just a really beautiful evening and uh, I really enjoyed it.
See, oh, blueberry pancakes, real maple syrup. That is how to start a day. Wow. Mm. That's it everybody, it's the end of this video and I had a really nice time out here and uh, like I've said throughout the video, it was just camping. I just wanted to come out here and be by the stove, eat some delicious food, be out in nature, just take a nice deep breath and uh, I definitely achieved that here and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I really hope you did and I hope it felt like you were here with me and um, and you know if, if you do feel that way, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> And uh, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments. And um, I also uh, would love for you to subscribe. If you have considered subscribing, but you haven't yet, I would love for you to do it. Um, it would mean a lot to me. I'm really trying to grow this channel. 80% of people who watch this channel are not subscribers, which is a crazy amount. Uh, people who watch it regularly. Um, so if you're one of those and you just wanna hit subscribe, that would be great. Um, I'm gonna be in your feed anyway. Uh, you'll see me there. And it just really boosts my, uh, my desire to come out here and make more videos, the more subscribers I have. So if you want to be a part of that, if you want to help me um, grow this thing, then yeah, that would be amazing. And uh, yeah, I think uh, I'm ready to go here. Snowmobile started. I just got to put on all my snow gear and then I'm hightailing it out of here. So I just want to thank you so much for watching. I'll be back really soon.